Hi, I'm Rebecca from Ingvid. In this pronunciation lesson, we will look at how to pronounce words that have the short U sound. Now, the letter U can be pronounced in different ways in English, but today we are going to focus on the short sound, the short U sound, okay? If you look at any words in the dictionary, you see that they are written in a particular way. That's called the International Phonetic Alphabet. So this short U sound looks like this, okay? In the International Phonetic Alphabet, it's like an upside down V sound, okay? Now, if you never learned that, or if you never look up a word like that, don't worry about it. In this lesson, we're going to look at exactly how to pronounce these words. Now, here, Today, we're focusing just on the short U sound because it appears in so many different words, all right? And this is especially helpful for Spanish speakers and some others because there, the U has a different kind of sound, all right? Now, we'll look at short U. However, if you are interested more seriously in improving your pronunciation in general, do check out my online course, Correct Your English Errors in 10 Minutes a Day. There, along with correcting various kinds of mistakes in grammar, vocabulary, we also look at pronunciation. So if you're interested in that, check the link in the lesson description. Okay, but for now, let's begin. So, what is the proper way to pronounce the short U sound? The proper way is to say something like this, uh. Say it after me, uh, uh, uh. I know it sounds a little weird, but don't worry, you don't go around just saying that. That's the sound, but I want you to hear it separately, and then we're going to use it in, in words itself, okay? Now, when I'm saying uh, the sound is what? Is it short or long? It's very short, okay? Ah, uh, it's almost shorter than you can imagine. It's very, very short. So make sure you're saying it really short. Plus, look at my lips. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. So my lips are also very relaxed, right? They're not tense. So the, sh the sound is short and my lips are relaxed. So make sure that your, your mouth is also the same way. And it can help sometimes to look in a mirror when you're practicing your pronunciation. All right, so that's what you should do. You should say, uh. What you should not do is to pronounce the U, the short U sound like an OO, all right? Do not do that. So for example, in this word, this word should be ultra, not ultra, okay? So we're just gonna look very briefly at what you should not do. And after that, we'll focus on all the things you should do. But let us let me just let you hear what happens if you don't pronounce it properly, all right? So say ultra, not ultra. Say culture, not culture. Say public, not public, okay? So that's our goal to say it with the short U sound. So let's begin. Let's start first by looking at some very short words. Repeat after me. Up, cup. But, nut. Duck, luck. Okay, keep it nice and compact, nice and short. Let's continue. The words are getting a little longer, but the sound is not getting longer. The sound stays the same. Shut. Uncle. Lunch. Running. Truck. Husband. Okay? Good. Let's continue now. Now we're going to look at some business English vocabulary that has this same short U sound. Okay, repeat after me. Discuss. Good. Subsidize. 
customer and function. All right. Of course, we're going to have business English words, academic words, general words, all of which have this short U sound. They're everywhere, all right? And can you know when it's a short U sound or some other sound? Not automatically, okay? My lesson will help you look at many of the patterns, but really you need to listen, okay? Listen to what uh, a native English speaker is saying. And then you can also check in the dictionary if you wish. And if you see this symbol, right, the upside down V, then you'll know that this is the sound we're looking for. The short U, which is what? A. Uh. Very good. All right. Now, here are a whole lot of words. Repeat after me, okay? It's really good practice. Multicultural. Multinational. Multilingual, multilateral, multimedia, and multicolor. Okay, so these are just a few uh, words like that which have this prefix multi. What does that prefix, that beginning, multi mean? It means many, okay? So multicultural refers to many cultures. Multinational, many nationalities or many countries. Multilingual, okay? Has to do with what? What does it mean if I say someone is multilingual? That person speaks many languages, okay? It's really interesting with lingual. So if you speak one language, you are uni, U-N-I, unilingual. If you speak two languages, do you know the prefix for that one? B-I, bilingual, okay? If you speak three languages, you might be trilingual, T-R-I, all right? But usually after that, we just say multilingual, all right? Or even sometimes after two, we just say he's multilingual, she's multilingual. She speaks many languages, all right? Multilateral, lateral means sides. So if you have multilateral discussions, you have many sides taking part in the discussion, all right? Multimedia and multicolor, all right? Next, let's look at uh, some expressions, phrasal verbs that use the word up as part of the expression, all right? So repeat after me, back up. You need to back up your files, all right? So you don't lose them. Cheer up. Okay, if somebody's sad, we might say, cheer up, show up. Okay, we weren't sure if he was going to, to come to the meeting, but finally, he showed up. He came, he, arrived, he did come. And bring up, okay? Please don't bring up that subject, all right? Or make sure to bring up that topic at the meeting, all right? So here we see that... Again, the word up appears in lots of phrasal verbs, and these are just a few of them, okay? Now let's look at another very interesting point about the short U sound. So far, we looked at a lot of words, and they all had the letter U in them, right? And we said that they were the short U sound. On this board, I'm going to show you something else that very often we have to say the short U sound, but there is no U in the word at all. There are some other letters. So let's look at some examples, all right? A very popular word, right? Love. Is there a U there? No. All of these words on this side, these five, they have an O, which is actually pronounced like a short U. So let's go through these first. Ready? Love. Don't get confused by the O. Don't say love. No. Love. So it sounds like this. Okay? Love. Money. Another very popular word, right? Money. So money in English, even though it's spelt with an O, sounds exactly like bunny. 
which is with a U, all right? That's how it is. This word, sun, is pronounced exactly like this word, the sun in the sky, or your son and daughter, right? Sun. So this word and this word sound exactly the same, or they should, all right? The next word, brother. Say it after me, brother or mother. This one, company. Let's go back and say them all, ready? Love, money, son, brother, and company. So even though they had an O in terms of spelling, they had the short U sound, okay? Now, the same thing is true here, except these words are not spelled with just an O, but really with O-U, okay? All of them. However, they have the short U sound that you know and you're getting so good at now. All right, so repeat after me. Ready? Cousin. Young. Trouble. Country. Double. All right? So again, ignore what you see, but learn the sound correctly. All right? So whether it's O or whether it's OU, for some words, it's going to have that short U sound. Here is another spelling variation which also produces the same short U sound. This word, blood, right? The blood in your veins, in your body, blood. I know there are two O's there, but it's still pronounced something like this. Blood, okay? Or this word, flood. It's when there's too much water, right? Uh, accumulates, we ha you have a flood. So, similarly, even though there are two O's, the sound is of a short U. All right, good for you. You've learned so much in this lesson with that. And this part will help you a lot because I find that a lot of my, my students and my clients do get confused because naturally you don't see a U there. So why would you say that? Well, when you know a little bit about English and you've learned a little more carefully about pronunciation, then you get to know that these sounds also appear in those words, okay? But now, Usually, since you don't just go around saying words, but you actually use those words in sentences, let's make sure that you don't just say the word correctly when you're practicing, but when those words appear in a sentence or a question, that you continue to pronounce them correctly, because sometimes that's a bit of a challenge. So let's try a few of those. Ready? Where's the bus? Good. That's funny. Good. Okay, number three. Let's discuss the proposal. Let's try that one more time. Let's discuss the proposal. Good. Number four. It's a multinational company. Very good. And number five. Number five is just what we call like a tongue twister. It's a silly sentence that helps you to master this sound, all right, in a kind of a fun, silly way. So if you're going to practice this sound, then you could say this sentence every day and make sure that you're saying it correctly, all right? It's a good way to summarize what we've been learning. Are you ready? Here we go. In the middle of the rug sat a big, black bug. Okay? It's just a silly thing. Say it again. In the middle of the rug sat a big black bug. All right, that's it. Congratulations. You reached the end of this lesson and it was so important, right? Because you learned that it doesn't only have to be spelled with a short, with a U, but it can be spelled in many different ways 
when we have to produce this sound, okay? And if you're serious about improving your pronunciation, also, as I said, and correcting various kinds of errors that you might be making in English, please check out the link to the Correct Your English Errors course. I think you might find it very helpful, all right? We're getting really good feedback from many of our students. So thanks very much and all the best with your English. Bye for now.